in the other garden. Now, this is my Cabbage Patch Kid. Grandma Teen gave this to me when I was born. This is 1984 edition. It used to have the original diaper and stuff to go with it and then a shirt underneath. But when Seth and all of y'all was young, y'all started messing with it. See, it was really in good condition. That's why I took it back. Okay, so this is the Garbage Pail Kid. See that? I mean, this is the Cabbage Patch. See that? So this is what I originally had. But then they started having these Garbage Pail Kids. And my friends would show me these ugly little cards that I didn't like. Now, so why? He's talking about he like them. Look, now this is my Cabbage Patch. See? Yeah, in the 80s and the 90s. just simply could not meet the demand. And it was insane. The same thing happened with the garbage pail kids. As soon as a box of these cards came, I told out, you those cards, man. On the shelves at 7-Eleven, Lionel Play World, etc. They were gone within a flash. And I mean, how can you blame kids for wanting these? At See, five cents. Yeah. For a package. And my friends, you look at him. My friends, you showed us. Look at that. And to top it off, they came with look gum, at his face. Like yeah, it sure did. And I still have some of the gum. See? They dare me to choose some 30 year old Topps bubble gum? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Now, there's high nostalgia for the 80s, which, if you grew up in the 80s, you're well aware they brought everything back, like I mentioned before Transformers. I mean, they even brought back Jim. So. There are some goodies out there that I recommend people taking a look at if you're fans of Garbage Bill Kids. For one, this.